guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Liz and this is simply homeschool so today I'm gonna be walking through the Abeka health safety and manners for grade 3 for this I purchased the science and health three curriculum lesson plans now we are not using the science at all through Abeka but I am going to be using the health so I had to purchase this for this curriculum the health safety and manners 3 workbook the answer key to the questions in this book. I purchased the quiz tests and worksheets plus the worksheet key. So right now I'm just going to start showing you guys um, what's in this health curriculum lesson plan. So I'm gonna jump to the back because that's all science at the beginning. Okay, so starting here, it is health three. And this doesn't normally start with a Becca until lesson 121, it shows here. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna be starting this off at the beginning of the year or towards the end of the year. I probably will do it at the beginning. I'd rather have a heavier load at the beginning of the year and then just be done with it. Um, so what it's showing is lesson 21. Here's preparation as the teacher, objectives, recognizing different ways humans develop discussing how humans grow mentally, physically, spiritually, and socially. So I'm gonna use a board or paper and I'm gonna write mental growth, spiritual growth, physical growth, social growth. This little note here shows me up here on the icons what it is, it's just a teaching note for myself. Board words are suggested to use as you teach through the lesson, customize words to your child's needs. The materials I'm gonna need is health, safety, and manners. So I'm gonna grab that right now, just to show you guys. Here is the health, safety, and manners workbook. Um, let me see if I'm still in the screen. Okay, so gather materials for additional enrichment, hands-on activities selected. See Appendix D for activities. So in the back of this book, Appendix D is the additional enrichment, okay? This is for the hands-on activities if you plan on doing them with your child. So here it's showing how to be healthy. So lesson number one, you're gonna need these materials for the straw demonstration. So it gives you a list of materials you'll need and then a procedure that you're gonna do is here. It's gonna walk you through what you need to do with your child, okay? So you wanna get those things before you start school for that day, just to have them kind of ready so your kids aren't, you know, losing interest. So then it says health, safety, and manners answer key. So they're telling me that I'm gonna need this as well. This is my answer key book. And the note to me is that this just provides answers to the questions throughout this, okay? And I'll need this daily. Um, so study procedure and student book, pages one through three. And then it just says, this lesson begins the introduction, be your best, read ahead to plan future activities. See page three for ending point of the lesson. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, here it says procedure. One is the introduction, give health, safety, and manners three to your child. Allow him to look through the book. Direct him to study the cover pictures and the title page. Rediscuss introductory materials, title page contents page, title page, oral reading and discuss discussion. Okay, so we're gonna discuss page I. God has given you an amazing body. You are growing, changing, and learning about taking care of yourself. Okay, so it just reads, you're supposed to read this to your child, okay? So this little note here is just telling you that the bold is what you're going to be reading to your child. And then when you see anything in um, italic writing, that is what your child is supposed to be answering, okay? So discuss, take a look at our table of contents. What do you see that we will be learning from this book? And then pause for your child to read through contents. Have him answer the question. So this is basically walking you through every step you need to do with the health. Um, it tells you what to read, what to ask, what pages they need to be on, and then in the back of this, it shows you what um, supplies you'll need for this book. Now, moving on from just taking a peek at this lesson plan book, just to kind of give you an idea how it runs um, you through the day. So what this has in it is contents. 
everything that you're going to be working on. So um, healthy habits, exercise in you, a healthy diet, a balanced diet, nutrients in you, healthy habits in you, everyday health habits, first aid to the rescue, be you, um, why be safe, public safety, recreational safety, home safety, politeness, kindness, respect, helpfulness, obedience, gratitude, phone etiquette, and putting others first. So then here would be lesson one that you would be reading with your child. Once you get here, it's just talk. So how do you grow? And then you're going to read the following questions and discuss the answers together. So basically in this text answer key, you would just turn to page one through three and it's talk about it. So this is from page three. So they're looking at this while you're looking at this. And you ask them these questions and then these are the answers that they should be answering with um, or something similar to it. So for instance, when Jesus came to earth, he grew in four ways. How are you growing in the same ways? So answers vary. Being able to read, getting taller, learning about God and making new friends. So they, you guys would kind of go over those things together. So moving on in this book, I'm just going to flip through these pages so that you guys can see what they have in their health book. Sitting correctly. Here's a comprehension check. Again, anytime there's questions like that, you're gonna find the answers in here. I'll just show you real quick. So this is your comprehension check. Um, here's the first comprehension check. Let's see here, eight, page eight, page eight. So here, a blank is something you do without thinking, a habit. So they give you the answers here. Okay, so that's where you would find those. quizzes, tests, and worksheets. This you could either get bound or unbound. I got it unbound. Um, so let me move it over here. So this is where you're going to find your quizzes, tests, and worksheets. 
So here it's just telling you how to administer the quizzes and tests. And then here's your grading for the quizzes and tests. Starting here is going to be quiz one. It tells them here they need their name and date. And this score area is where you're gonna be putting their grade. Um, they're gonna be working on filling in the blanks and then multiple choice here. It tells them to flip this over for the next side, um, that it continues. Also on the bottom here, it'll show what lesson number. Now, depending on if you're doing full curriculum with Abeka or say you have other things that you're using, um, you can you know do it on your own lesson or you can add it in at the end of the year on this lesson just so it's a little helpful. So they continue on here. And then moving on to the next sheet, it's actually the worksheet one. So they're gonna fill that out and that out. It explains to them that this is page two of worksheet one. Moving on to quiz two. And then here's their test. So that's test one, test one, page two, test one, page three. So here they're going to have, oh, I think there's actually more. There's four pages to test one. That's pretty, it's pretty intense, guys. <laughs> um, so again, it just goes through the book like that. It's very self-explanatory for yourself to know um, what lessons they're gonna be doing it on, what quiz, what test. Um, so I'm not gonna go through this whole thing here, but here's just a couple more pages of what they're gonna be working on. workbook for your child and then this is going to be for you this is the teacher key again they have the administering the quizzes and tests and then your grading so you can either choose six point scale or ten point scale the awesome thing about Abeka is they lay it out for you really nicely so you know what points they get so up at the top it says subtract total points missed from 100 this white box with blue writing is for the six point scale and for the 10 point scale, it's a blue box with white writing. So in this section here, you're gonna see all their answers are in blue. And then above each section, you're gonna see the same two boxes. So for this, if you're gonna be doing the six point scale for your child, you're gonna be looking at this box here. And this would be minus four points for each missed question. And it's the same um, in this case for the 10, uh, the 10 point scale as well. But for this one, it's three points each for each of these and four points each for each of these for six and 10. So it just depends on what you choose. You're going to be, um, what scale you're gonna be going off of. So that's it for this. It's exactly the same as their worksheets and tests, but yours is, your answers are in blue. And it kind of gives you that guideline. So that is the teacher key. So that's it, you guys. I hope that this explained it enough to you guys and kind of show, showed you enough to where you can understand, um, but I wasn't overwhelming you with craziness. But again, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe, the like, and the notification bell if you want to see any other curriculum type videos. I do everything having to do with homeschool, not just curriculum flip throughs. But if you are interested in seeing different grades, I have first grade, second grade, sixth grade, now third grade, and I will be doing seventh grade. So if you guys um, wanna check on those, I have playlists on my channel for every book that we've used for those grades so far, except for the third and the seventh, I'm working on those now. Um, but I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this video found you guys safe and healthy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Be blessed always.